really promoting the role of cities in sustainable development. Uh, urban poverty originally and the role of cities has long been ignored or underplayed in the international development agenda. And we're not the only ones promoting it, but we have a, a unique uh, collection of members that that put, we're an alliance for cities, not of cities. And uh, our goal, and including here at COP21, is to do whatever we can to uh, allow policymakers and the public see cities as solutions, as partners, and as providers. We have a very interesting program we're currently running, uh, which will be finished in its first phase next June, which is, is working with 21 African cities in a program called Future Cities Africa, which is, is trying to ascertain what sort of trajectory they would take if they wanted to promote a, a lo low carbon growth uh, pattern. And this is incredibly uh, important because we are focusing in the main on secondary cities which is where the bulk of the urbanization and I think the climate change challenge will be played out. Our primary objective is, is just as a human being citizen is to hope that we are here to witness the deal that needs to be done because it's clear from our own experience is that there need to be absolute transformations in the way in which we run our daily lives and those are by and large run at cities. So anything we can do to contribute to the success of COP21, we don't want to be big players, we want to be small players contributing to a much larger global agenda. I think we'll be putting forward very strongly the resilience agenda and I think our vehicle of the Resilience Joint Work Program, which we're launching here tomorrow, which is our main outcome at COP21, driving that into a real work program where we get collaboration between a range of very interesting partners. For us, that'll be the main outcome and the next step. Multiple barriers. Uh, so most of them are not new. A, a, a lack of political will, a lack of clear understanding on the gravity of the challenge and as we find in all of our work on urbanization very often the wrong policy choices that are made so short-term policy decisions with long-term negative impacts that really summarizes for us the, bit, the, the, the enormity of the challenge clever decisions taken now save fortunes later but we always find out later what we should have done